Hello students. Now in this lecture today we are going to study about the like something more about the manures. Okay. Now yesterday we have discussed in the last lecture we have discussed uh, we have learned many thing about the manures. Why we should use it? What are the advantages of using it? And in fact even the disadvantages. Okay. Now can we use something else? Can anything else can take place uh, takes the place of uh, manures ok. So, what it is or what it can be the first name which comes is fertilizers ok. So, just uh, what is fertilizer again it is also uh, sort of a chemical which increases the fertility of the soil which helps the farmers to get a better quality crop to get the uh, like even the quantity can be increased ok. So, uh, just have a look here we will be ha looking uh, about the advantages and disadvantages of the fertilizers or rather we can study even in a comparative way like what are manures and what are fertilizers and then we can even have a look we can understand that why manures should be used or, or even if the someone like you know. Of uh, some farmers they go for the fertilizers. So, just we can understand the difference between the two and we can also understand the good and bad part of both the things ok. So, to begin with we will study the difference between manures and fertilizers. Ok. So, we have studied a lot about the manures in the last lecture and I am sure now we know that what actually manures are ok. So, what manures are it is a natural substance ok it is what it is a natural substance it is a natural substance. formed even I can write natural compounds or natural uh, like the manures are the whenever we talk about manure it has to be natural ok. So, natural substances formed by the decomposition of organic matter. ok and here what are fertilizers these are ok. So, when we talk about fertilizers what are fertilizers? Fertilizers are inorganic compound Okay. Fertilizers are inorganic compound formed by using certain chemicals. Okay. So, what I have written over here natural substance manure are what natural substance. Ok, we can even write it is a organic substance formed by the organic decomposition ok. So, natural substance formed by the decomposition of organic matter ok. Now, decomposition means what like when the we have studied yesterday also like when the dead and decomposed like when dead thing or the natural waste may be cow dung may be the cow the fodder uh, the leftover of the fodders may be the plant leftovers ok. When all these are allowed to or it is kept for some time it get like some microbes start working upon that and break them into small and smaller particle which becomes the part of the soil again ok. That means, it is getting broken up it is getting divided into smaller smaller particles and becoming the part of the soil or even we can say that it is getting decomposed ok. So, what is happening when the natural substances are broken up it get decomposed ok. So, what is formed manure is formed 
when we talk about fertilizers what are fertilizers inorganic compounds okay that the main difference is that it is organic compound and here it is what inorganic compound formed by the now here we are not using any kind of decomposition okay no decomposition is there it is formed by using certain chemicals now this word has to be underlined that means the biggest difference is what it is formed by the natural substance it is formed by the decomposition of the natural things and these are fertilizers are being made by the chemicals okay so uh, this is the biggest difference okay now the second thing when i'm saying this is a natural okay it is a natural thing it is it can be made naturally so obviously it can be made it can be made by the farmers in the field itself okay and here is made in the factories okay so as we have discussed this thing like earlier also like this is formed by the decomposition of natural thing and all these natural things which is required for the formation of manure is available in the where in the field it is there with the farmers so what is the case it can be made by the farmers in the field itself but this can't be made by the farmers okay this is made in the factories now when the farmers are making it okay when it is made by themselves without you know uh, without putting like they don't have to put lot of money into that okay so what can be the third point it can be like it is cheaper okay it is cheaper it is not very costly and it is costly okay so it is like with the farmers don't have to put so like much of money over here but if one has to buy fertilizers he has to have money with him so it is cheap and it is costly okay the now the next one is now these are heavy or bulky okay and so do not don't get get dissolved easily in the water and here it get it get dissolved easily okay now see this is little bit bulky okay it doesn't get easily dissolved in the water see we all know it is made up of cow dung some waste so all this thing get dissolved in the water but not as faster as the fertilizer fertilizers get dissolved okay so what is there it is heavy and it bulky and so do not get easily dissolved into water but here it get dissolved into water very easily now when i'm saying that it is not getting dissolved easily and so it's difficult to write down don't get okay it is not absorbed i'll write writing short oh folks no place over there okay so next i can write over here don't get are oh yeah, there is no place to write okay 
so the fifth point is not get absorbed properly okay what is the meaning of properly specially want want to mention over here it get absorbed but it is time consuming okay it doesn't get absorbed very soon okay so not get absorbed soon or properly it get absorbed very soon okay so as it doesn't get dissolved into water so again the absorption also becomes like slower okay get slower and here it get absorbed very like very fast it is a fast process now i'll have to continue over here manures and fertilizers okay so when i'm saying it is not getting dissolved easily it is not getting absorbed easily okay that means what it is a time consuming process which we have studied yesterday also that means see both the cases are there in the formation in the making of manure also like it takes lot of time okay and in the absorption also it takes lot of time and so in the result also it shows like it is a uh, it takes lot of time okay so what i can write i can write here it takes time to show results okay gives fast results okay now the formation is also very time consuming so forming or formation or i can write making okay formation or making is also time consuming okay and here i can write as it is made in factories it is done very fast it's not time consuming okay it is not time consuming now again a very important point you know like it is not nutrient specific it is not nutrient specific and this one is nutrient specific okay it is nutrient specific okay now what is the meaning of this see it is not nutrient specific see when we are adding manures whenever i'm saying we are that means i'm talking about the farmers only okay so when the farmers are adding manure to the soil in the land what is happening it is not the case like the field is deficient of any particular uh, like you know element maybe uh, nitrogen maybe anything phosphorus so when the manure is added the farmers know that the this particular manure is not remove going to remove nitrogen deficiency okay what, like it is going to remove what at the same time what what will happen it is going to improve uh, it is going to give a better texture better like the overall nutrient will be given to the soil okay so it gives a overall nutrients and this is a very nutrient specific okay now ninth one it provides humus to the soil it do not provide okay it do not do not provide what do not provide humus okay now see 
it provides humus to the soil now what is humus humus is like what when the dead and decompose like when the things get dead dead and decompose it is it becomes like it is full of nutrients and that is given it reaches to the soil and the overall fertility of the soil get increased okay so i can write over here improves texture okay here rather it spoils the texture okay it is eco friendly it tenth okay this one is 10 children this one is 11 it, it it pollutes it pollutes the pollutes the i'm writing in very short it pollutes the atmosphere i will we'll describe i'll just explain this okay now overall now see what is happening we were here, over here like it, it is not providing a particular specific nutrient but it is overall improving the quality of the soil it is improving the texture of the soil okay now this is very very important part when i'm saying it is improving the texture of the soil it is providing humus to the soil okay so it is improving texture of the soil so what is happening the overall quality of the soil becomes good okay the soil can now like it can the the crops we can the farmers can get the crops of the better quality and even the quantity will be increased okay so what is happening over here in with the fertilizers when we talk about it is not going to provide any kind of humus to the soil okay and at the same time like why it is not providing humus to the soil because see it is made up of the chemicals okay and chemicals are and that too also like it is very nutrient specific it will give a particular nutrient if we talk about nitrogen so that particular fertilizer will be used by the farmer and that particular soil that particular land will become rich in that nutrient okay now it improves the texture i have written here spoil i should not write it directly but it rather when we talk in long term it spoils it uh, it spoils the sorry it spoils the what uh, fertility of the soil it, is, it spoils the texture of the soil okay now eco friendly see eco friendly means what we all know actually it is now we all are very very familiar to this word eco friendly means what it is environmental friendly that means it is not giving it is not uh, uh, harming the nature okay so it can be used on the large uh, extent now when i say it pollutes the atmosphere okay so in what way it is polluting see first of all it is polluting the land because it is reducing when we talk about the long term if the fertilizers are used on the long for a longer period so what happened the fertility also get decreased okay first thing why why the fertility get decreased because the soil now soil the, the texture of the soil is not so good the nutrients in the soil are not so good now okay like it is not left with the nutrients and then uh, in the next chapter in the proceeding like in the further chapters we'll be reading about the pollution the land pollution how the fertilizers they uh, pollute even the water okay they pollute the river water why because when the fertilizers are spread or uh, spread or uh, it is uh, added to the soil and when it rains along with the rain, rain water this fertilizer it the fertilizer get mixed up with the rain water and this rain water again in due course of time it get mixed up with the water and it pollutes the water it is not only polluting the sand it is polluting the water and even this fertilizers are very very harmful for the the microbes or the you know helpful microbes the important microbes okay which are there in the soil in fact it also uh, if you know something about my uh, biofication you know but it will be of high level so we'll just skip it out so you know when the see uh, in short i'll just tell you like grains are eaten by the suppose reds okay now red are eaten by the snake like when we talk about the food chain so this fertilizers in due course of time it goes it reaches to the highest level also okay that means on the highest level of the chain that means it reaches in the body of the animals also okay so it is the fertilizers are rather very very harmful okay so we'll just have a quick look on whatever things we have read over here the difference between the manure and the 
fertilizer. So when we talk about manures, what are manures? Manures are the substance like it is organic substance. How it is made? It is made by the decomposition of the all natural things ok may be cow dung, may be cow urine, may be the folders, leftover folders ok whatever left, left thing is there may be the residues of plant and the dead, part, the dead parts, the dead leaves of the plants. So all these things can be added and the manure can be made. Now we talk about fertilizers, fertilizers are made by what chemicals ok. Next is it can be made by the farmers only like when the farmers they themselves are making it and it can be made in the field. So it is very very cheaper and when we compare it with the fertilizers because fertilizers are made in the factories ok. Now these are like it does not get dissolved easily into the water ok I am combining the two points it does not get dissolved into water and so it like uh, it, it, it get absorbed by the plants but it takes little time ok. So, the absorption also takes little time. Now, here it get readily dissolved like very easily dissolved in water and so it is absorbed by the plants very like in a very within few uh, minutes ok. Now, here it takes time like I am telling it again again I am saying it okay, it is a time consuming process it takes time to make manure ok. So, making is time consuming ok and so absorption is a time consuming process over here and so results also it takes little time to show the to uh, to see the results. But this this one fertilizers are very fast you know. Now this one when we talk about it is very important point nutrient specific manures are not at all nutrient specific but fertilizers are nutrient specific ok. Now the next is what? The it improves the texture, it gives humus to the soil, it does not give and it spoils the texture of the soil, soil sorry and it is eco friendly, it does not pollute and it pollutes the atmosphere ok. Examples also we can write maybe urea ok there is no place to write now, urea, ammonia, potash, or potash so all these are what? These are examples of fertilizers ok. So, See both the things are there we have advantages of also of manure also and disadvantages are also there of manure. What can be the advantages? Advantages so the biggest advantage is it improves the fertility of the soil, it provides humus to the soil in long term it give all the uh, nutrients which is required ok and the soil uh, in long term the quality and the quantity of the crop get what improved ok. These all are advantages it is cheap this is also advantage it can be made by farmers again an advantage. But when we talk about the disadvantages of the manure what it is a time consuming process it takes time to show the results ok. So it is bulky do not get dissolved easily. Now when we talk about fertilizers what can be the advantage of fertilizer? fast it is very very fast ok the uh, it takes uh, does not take much time to be made in the uh, factories get dissolved in the water very easily get absorbed by the plants very easily ok and it is nutrient specific so nice like particular field is deficient of nitrogen just uh, the farmer said the particular uh, say fertilizer which is which provides the nitrogen to the soil so it is very fast ok and it is nutrient specific. But again what are the disadvantages? The biggest disadvantage is that it pollutes the atmosphere like anything. It is harmful for not only men but it is harmful for the animals who eat this. It is harmful for the microbes, it is harmful for the uh, like rivers. So it is very very harmful ok. So you know if uh, just uh, you can try this thing if you do a little a small experiment ok which kind of experiment if you suppose if you take I uh, will just show it over here if you take 3 bags ok 3 bags 3 pots ok in this 3 pots if you put everything like you know same soil and whatever is required for the growth of the plant. But what one thing we have to do obviously you have to put sapling also ok do not forget to do that. So in this a plant is planted 
and here even you can put some seeds also if you do not want to put the plant you can add some seeds into this uh, three pots ok A, B and C. Now, what should be the difference in the pot A we would not be adding anything nothing is added in the pot A ok. So, pot A nothing is there pot B I have added manure ok and in pot C fertilizer ok and we will just allow it to like we all the things other things should be same same amount of sunlight same place same type of uh, like uh, amount seed should be used same amount of water has to be given ok then wait for the results after some time you will find if you have added seeds ok. So, you will find the seeds are germinating ok, but what will happen you will find that in A it depends on A wala it will depends upon the soil the quality of soil which you have taken normal growth B it will be showing better growth than the A why because that uh, like extra nutrients are being added obviously in the B ok, but when we talk about C we have added fertilizers in that. So, guess what will happen obviously the growth will be faster ok, when the growth will be faster and even though uh, if you had added uh, seeds to this. So, the number of seeds which will come out will be more ok. So, this will be the difference when you are not adding manure growth is totally normal and if you keep on uh, growing the crops in the same pot a day will come when you will not be able to get any kind of. Uh, like you won't see germination also, but because all the nutrients are being used, okay, it is used by the seeds again again because we are sowing the seeds again again. But when we talk about B, when we add manure, it will be obviously better than the A. That means it is going to show better growth than the A. And when we talk about C, where we are adding fertilizers, so in this case, what will happen? Faster growth will be seen. Okay. So, how this uh, this was just a comparison about the manures and the fertilizers ok. Now, how these manures and fertilizers has to be given it is it is uh, it can be dissolved into the water and can be given uh, to the look can be added in the channels ok. Channels means uh, from where the water is going to the particular crop particular area. So, there when before giving the water the fertilizer the this manures can be dissolved even the fertilizers can be dissolved and can be given through the channels. Second thing about when we talk about uh, manure fertilizer see manure can be just spread like it, it cannot be spreaded just like this because it is bulky. So, it has to be added in the crop only it has to be put like this only ok now it has to be mixed up with the soil properly. One thing I told in the beginning of the chapter that sometimes in some fields some farmers what they do they mix the manure in the that the manure in the beginning only ok when the tilling is going on ok when they have to put the seed before that only some farmers add the manure to the seed or fertilizers to the seed ok. Now, fertilizers can be spread all like you know like spraying ok. So, it can be uh, done can be given to the plants in this way also ok. So, uh, one more method like broadcasting I told you before also like in olden days the seed used to be broadcasted that means what it just used to be spread it thrown like this. So, even the uh, sometime even the fertilizers can be just thrown like this, but it is again a not a very safer method because the amount at one place it can be more and the other place it can be less ok. You know sometimes you know what happens uh, this is a personal uh, experience which I am uh, sharing uh, like uh, one of uh, my friend he deals with this fertilizers and all this thing ok. So, somehow the company made uh, uh, like you know the fertilizers a new kind of fertilizer was launched into the uh, market and it was I do not know what was wrong with that fertilizer, but I did burned all the fields that particular when we talk about the village the particular villagers they all lost their field ok. So, then lot of uh, like uh, things were done like uh, compensation was given and lot many things happened, but just wanted to tell that compensation, compensation part is not important, but this what I wanted to say ki if the quantity is given more ok if, or the fertilizer is not appropriate it can even burn the crops ok. So, it can even give rise to the burning 
okay now we will go to the next topic okay okay now this was about the okay so this was like just now we read about the manures and fertilizer okay that means we are adding something to the soil some extra is being adding added sorry uh, to the soil but can there be any natural method can there be anything by which we can increase the fertility of the soil okay so there are certain natural method also okay natural method of what it is natural methods to increase the fertility of the soil okay i will i can write even natural methods for increasing the fertility of the soil okay so natural method means what means we are not adding anything to it just by using certain you know one or the other ways the fertility of the soil can be brought to normal or can be increased okay so the first one can be leaving the field fellow okay second can be crop rotation third can be multiple cropping okay so what we are studying now we are studying about the natural methods of increasing the fertility of the soil okay before that what we have discussed we have discussed a lot a lot about what manures and fertilizers that by using manures and fertilizers how the fertility of the soil can be increased now leaving the field fellow what does it means it means to leave the field empty okay to leave the field empty or uncultivated okay means what to leave the field empty or uncultivated means what means the particular part of land is left uncultivated that means no crops has to be sown on that particular field that particular area that particular land and it has to be kept like that only for maybe one season two seasons okay likewise so what is the use of that see like suppose this is a area where we are using this area this land for growing the crops again and again now if this part is used again again we are using we are growing crops again again okay so that particular amount which is present of the nutrients okay the particular nutrients which are present in the soil will obviously be used up with the plants and then a stage will come when the soil will become nutrient deficient means it won't be having enough amount of nutrients to supply to the plants and definitely it is going to affect the growth of the crops it is going to affect the quality of the crops it is going to affect the quantity of the crops this will be like what i uh, just uh, just we are uh, uh, keep on like just take the example of petrol and diesel if we keep on digging if we keep on using the petrol and diesel as we all know a stage will come when we won't be having any kind of petrol and diesel okay no petrol and diesel will be left on the in the surface of the earth in the same way if a particular land is cultivated okay a n number of times so what will happen all the nutrients will be absorbed it it will be a continuous process so what will happen nothing is being added to the soil only we are taking okay so plant, the particular part of the land will become deficient of the nutrients so fellow leaving the field fellow means what to leave the field empty to leave the field uncultivated 
that means no crops has to be sown on that particular land for a season or two ok. So, then what will happen it give rise to the natural addition of the nutrients that means the now after leaving the soil fellow after particular time after a few seasons when the crop will be grown again the soil will be ready for the and it will be having nutrients ok. So, uh, we can even define it what is the meaning of leaving the field fellow that means to leave the field see in science always remember one on like one uh, thing like whatever whenever you are writing papers do write that definition any descriptive answer is also there, but still write always start with some you know definition you have to define that ok and also try to give more and more examples this is the first important thing of the science when you write a science paper ok. So, how can we define leaving the field fellow that means to leave the field empty or uncultivated for a season or two ok for a season or two. So, that the natural fertility of soil can be increased ok. So, this is about leaving the field fellow to leave the field empty or uncultivated for a season or two. So, that the natural fertility of soil can be increased ok. Moving on to the next one crop rotation. Now, what is the meaning of C? Uh, use logics ok. Crop, crop and rotation means what? In the school also we uh, have uh, rotation of the benches yes. Like the one who uh, sits on the first bench will be uh, you know going uh, one by one uh, it will be going the, the students will be moving to the second and third and fourth and the again it is going to come on the first bench after some time. Same is with the crop rotation the difference is that here students are not rotating, but the crops are rotating. So, rotation means what to grow different kind of crops alternately on the same field ok. What is there to grow different kind of crops ok remember this to grow different kind of crops alternately on the same field ok. Again one word is also used alternately that means what now in this here this piece of field if legume is grown ok. What is the meaning of legume? Leguminous crop ok. So, leguminous one of all the kind of pulses comes under this category. So, we uh, suppose if legume, legume is grown over here in the field uh, in uh, for say like first crop is legume then the other crop can be wheat ok. Why and what it is say legumes we all know that in the nodules of the legumes a bacteria uh, named rhizobium is there ok. Now, which bacteria is there rhizobium bacteria is there which is there rhizobium ok. In the nodules of legumes rhizobium bacteria is there which has the capacity of nitrogen fixation ok. Nitrogen fixation that means what? it fixes the atmospheric nitrogen. So, when 
once when legumes are grown due to rhizobium bacteria nitrogen will be available in the soil and when next time wheat is sown this nitrogen will be available to the wheat ok. So, one time a crop A is grown and the another time the crop B is grown the third time again A is grown then again B is grown this is what is about the crop rotation that means to grow different kind of crops to grow ok different kind of crops which are the different kind legume and wheat ok. Uh, these are the different kind of crop uh, I just want to tell you one thing ki particular you know like in a higher classes we will study that for the crop rotation the whole uh, like uh, pairs are being made and uh, uh, the, the farmers uh, do not allow the legumes to like they do not again sow, sow the same A crop uh, uh, like till ok. Just to explain this you will read this in higher classes that what farmers do they have made they made the pairs and they sow the crops in this way that legume once they have sown it will not come again for a till a for long period of time ok. That means different different crops will be sown by the time again the legume comes again the uh, nutrients which is required for the legume becomes available in the soil. So, to read with this to grow different kind of crops which crops we have taken legumes and wheat. So, different kinds of crops we are talking about grow alternately this means one time we are growing crop A legume second time we are growing the crop B that is wheat on the same field that means I am not talking about the two different fields that on A field uh, some A crop is grown in B field B crop is grown no on the same field two crops are grown in an alternate way alternate manner and so what happens it adds to the nutrients to the soil ok. Now what is multiple cropping? Now multiple cropping is what when uh, different kind of crops ok when multiple crops are grown on the same field in the same field when different kind of or different kind of crops are grown all together. Now, please try to understand the difference between the two. Here we are sowing it alternately ok. That means at one time if we have uh, we have legume plants legume crops the other season the other time will be having wheat ok. Now, what is the case with multiple cropping in one field only we do not have only legumes we do not have only wheat we have multiple crops ok. Multiple crops like the idea is also like very interesting uh, why? Because see sometimes suppose one crop is eaten or is destroyed or attacked by the pest may be destroyed due to some other reasons ok. So, at least the farmers have different crop to rely on ok. So, economically also like they are not totally lost they have something in their hand. So, this is the one, one aspect. Second see in all this when we are talking about all this I would like to write some advantages also over here mm, ok we will manage over here only advantages of all this why we need to do it ok. What can be the advantages see for everything even when your mama says something you have a question why have it ha, the eat this why you know why to eat such kind of like boring sabdi sometimes maybe some soya beans or something which you do not like. So, why to eat it? So, your mama always gives you some good answer. So, why to use all these things? Why what has to be uh, what can be the benefits of this? So, first is it increases ok. The first is it increases 
I'll have to rub the blackboard only, just wait. Okay, so uh, like we have to read now advantages why we have to use all these things. Okay, so what can be the advantages why we have to use all these things? Which thing like leaving the field fellow, crop rotation, multiple cropping, why it has to be used? So, we we'll just have a look 